What's up everyone? Welcome back to Somewhere Beyond. It's that time of year. It is Halloween season and actually it's only September and it is hot as hell. But I'm at Halloween Horror Nights 2024. I have an unlimited pass so I want to run through the mazes as much as I can. Maybe check out the Chucky show. Um, but I'm just really excited to be back. I haven't been to Halloween Horror Nights in at least two years. Um, so let's head on in and get right to the mazes. the night I like that one I might have to check it out at the end of the night as well on my way back out but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10 good sets good scares all in all looks great let's move on to Monstros Very good. Very, very good. And keep doing those Latin America mazes. Sorry, houses. Every single time while you're Rona, El Cucuy, they're always really good. So I'm going to give that one a 9 out of 10. That's pretty good to start the second one off of the night, but uh, let's move on. Next up, it was time to delve deep into the further with Insidious. The further is a dark realm filled with the tortured souls of the dead. One, there were some good effects and some good scares, but I give this one a 6.5 out of 10. 
I then immediately headed over to the Ghostbusters maze as it's in the same lot as Insidious. Initially I wasn't really excited for this maze, but man, it did not disappoint. Overall quality of this one brings it in at a 9 out of 10. A lot of fun, do not miss this one. Terror Tram time, let's do it. What are you? I've been asking myself the same question. Now then, we go up to be bad mates. I am watching Are you listening to me? This year's Terror Tram just, I don't know, it felt like a something was missing, but overall I give this a 6 out of 10, and honestly my favorite part was The Purge, even though they've done that for like 10 years. <laughs> Let's go ahead and head down to the lower lot where the collection of houses are probably arguably the best, so we've got four houses down here to do. I'm excited. Let's kick off the lower lot with Eternal Bloodlines. <laughs> Take a look at that. Looks pretty sick. 
Good maze. Seven out of ten. And now we can hit that exposure death valley. supposed to be the best one here this year I it was really good 8.5 or 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 very creative mm. and you can't beat the cool room with the AC that was amazing now if you remember the weekend did a maze sorry a house a few years ago that one was really awesome one of my favorites so I'm excited for this one. Let's uh, let's see if they made any upgrades. the music I think that's what really gets me and I like the the darkness the horror feel of the weekend so he's grown on me exponentially but uh, 8 out of 10 might have to go through that one again on to Texas Chainsaw Massacre my favorite of all the horror icons I can't wait for this one 30 years let's go do it just to show you this is how busy it is <laughs> at 11 o'clock on a Sunday, so maybe you don't need those uh, express passes. Hi. <laughs> All right, 
I'm excited for this one. Let's go. <laughs> that one a nine and a half out of ten pretty good really good sets really good scares I feel like I missed a couple so let's run it back we'll do it one more time Super Nintendo World not open how sick would that be if they did a Luigi's Mansion 3 layover in one of the sections of uh, Super Nintendo World Maybe it would encourage kids to come. Maybe that's not the best idea. I don't know, but either way, I feel like we need that. Luigi's Mansion, Halloween Horror Nights. Give it to us, Universal. And then lastly, I decided to end my night back at the upper lot to see the new for this year show, Late Night with Chucky. Chuck's 
secretive service starting to annoy me, Jordan. You know what happens when I get annoyed. Damn, that's a red wash. Uh, you know what? That never ends well. <laughs> it ends well for me. Thank you, dummies. It's been a pleasure talking about you. Make sure to watch Chucky. Now streaming on Peacock. I'm sorry, has this all just been a promo? You damn right it is. This has been Late Night with Chucky. Signing off. <laughs> no, Diane. Diane, run. Diane. Oh. Oh, oh damn, that's a great song. Well, as you can see with the sign over my left shoulder here, the night has come to a close. I had a real blast tonight, yeah. especially being able to catch the mazes more than once. If I were to go back and say I had a favorite, I really liked the Ghostbusters maze. That was very intricate and detailed and just all around fun. So I think that was probably my favorite. I was a little taken aback by how minimal the lines were all night long, except for the very end. I don't know what was so special about tonight, maybe because it's a Sunday, but man, it was uh, relatively easy. I feel, I feel like I didn't even need the express pass to skip the line, but I always get it just because it's, it's good to have. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you wanna see more content like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe down below. And as I said in the beginning, Halloween is upon us, so stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.